Teresa Branscombe from the Internal Revenue Service. I suspect you have heard about the new first-time homebuyer credit, which could boost the amount of money you get in your tax refund either this year or next year. And here to tell us all about this is Anthony Burke. He's a media relations specialist at the IRS. Anthony, thank you for joining us. Hi, Teresa. Thanks for having me on the show. Anthony, first of all, what is the definition of a first-time home buyer when it comes to this credit? A first-time home buyer is someone who hasn't owned a primary residence for three years prior to the purchase date of the home for which they're claiming the credit. Now, does that count both for an individual taxpayer and a spouse? For married couples, neither the husband nor the wife can have owned a primary residence for three years prior to the purchase date of the home for which they're claiming the credit. Well, there was a 2008 credit and a 2009 credit. Let's talk about first the 2008 credit. For people who bought a house during 2008, the first-time homebuyer credit gives them a credit of up to 10% of the purchase price of the home for a maximum of $7,500. And do you have to pay this back? This is unlike most credits. You have to pay it back, and you pay it back over 15 years starting with tax year 2010. Okay, so really what this is is an interest-free loan, right? The first-time homebuyer credit for 2008 is an interest-free loan. Okay, and what's the time period you would have needed to buy that house? For 2008, the credit applies to homes bought after April 8th, but by December 31st. Okay, now let's go to 2009. What's the deal with that? For 2009, the first-time homebuyer credit is really great for potential home buyers. For people buying a house in 2009, they can claim a credit of up to 10% of the purchase price of the home for a maximum of $8,000, and they don't have to pay it back provided they keep the house for 36 months. And when do they need to buy that house? The credit applies to houses bought during 2009 as long as it's before December 1st. Okay. Now, I understand you have a choice as to when you can claim this credit. That's right. For the first-time homebuyer credit in 2009, you have a choice. You can claim it either on your 2009 tax return, or you can go back and claim it on your 2008 tax return and get the refund now. Okay, that's nice. Now, I understand there's a special rule as to whether or not you can get this credit at all. That's right. For 2009, to get the credit, you have to have closed on the home for which you're claiming the credit by November 30th. All right, so after that, no deal, even if you were planning to buy a house. If you buy the house on December 1st or after, you cannot get the first-time homebuyer credit for 2009. Who's eligible for this income-wise? There is an income limitation. So the credit starts to phase out for people whose income is more than $75,000 or $150,000 if they're married filing jointly. Mm -hmm. So bottom line, what's the difference between the 2008 credit and the 2009 credit? The 2008 credit is an interest-free loan. You have to pay it back. The 2009 credit is more and you don't have to pay it back. And you have a choice as whether you claim it on your 2009 return or go back and claim it on your 2008 tax return and get the refund now. All right, Anthony. Well, thank you so much for this information. Thank you, Teresa. And thank you all for joining us. I'm Teresa Branscombe. You can learn more about the first-time home buyer credit on the IRS's official website, irs.gov.